YouTube, I want to say thank you to everybody for continuing to subscribe and viewing and smashing that like button. So this is part one of our 1960 uh, Impala LS swap. The goal is we're going to get this. We're gonna get this 348 out of here and we are installing an LS1 out of a 2000 Camaro. So this is the car, we're also gonna change the steering column and put a digital dash in it. So this is the LS1 that'll come out of this Camaro and we'll pull it out and then we'll wire it up and put it in the Impala. So we have our engine out of our Camaro it is a LS1. It is going in this 1960 Impala. So we got 853, 853 heads on it. Let's see, can we see? See your 57 markings there. This is the car. See, this is what it was born with, the 5.7. And actually, a real good thing, it turns out that this transmission has been rebuilt before. I knew it shifted well, but I did not know it was rebuilt before. So that is a real good plus because, um, you know, it's a 4L60. So... That's a huge plus. So we're gonna get this Camaro out of here, send this thing to the scrap yard, and then we will get our engine mounted to our engine stand. And then what? And then once the engine is on the engine stand, we will start tearing it down. We'll put front cover gasket on it. Uh, valve cover gaskets, a new valley cover gasket, um, new oil pan gasket, uh, did I say new front cover, and some exhaust manifold gaskets. So we're going to keep rolling. White one auto. Hey, so we got the old 348 um, out of the 1960 Impala. It is out. So now we can start removing things like the motor mounts cleaning up a lot of this wiring, which the wiring job on here, it appeared to be very, very good. Um, I didn't see any major issues with it. It looks a mess like this now because we had to pull a lot of it out. One major thing I see though, is that big loom of wires is passing through there and we don't have a grommet on that. I'm gonna try to sneak in on that. So that I don't like. Those are just wires passing through there. And three of those wires is sitting actually on top of another bundle. That could really chafe through really, really bad. So uh, we're gonna clean up a whole lot of this wiring. Uh, we're not touching the brake system. And we're trying not to touch as much of the power steering system as we can not touch. So, and as well as modify whatever we need to for the vintage air to keep this thing going. But the 409, I mean, excuse me, the 348 is out. And we're gonna put it into the 20th century with an LS1, a 2000 model LS1. So we got our LS1 all tore down, we got the heads off, and our chain has plenty of slap in it. So we're doing new chain, lifters, oil pump, and gaskets. So let's get this going. So we got our new camshaft retainer on. Next, we'll finish putting our timing chain on. We got our lower gear, so we'll get that all set. So our timing chain is installed. We just installed this dot to dot. It's just a simple um, refresh. So next, we'll put our oil pump on and keep it moving. So we have our oil pump installed and torqued down. We also put a new pickup tube on it. 
So next we'll put our front cover on it with a new front cover gasket and keep it moving. So we have our balancers on, our front cover is on loosely. Always put the balancer on and torque it down. Then I'll torque down my front cover. So we got that set. Then next we'll put our oil pan on. Keep it moving. So front cover is now torqued down the spec. We are going to roll this thing over, put our lifters, our cylinder heads back on, and then we'll slap our oil pan back on. Let's keep. So we have our engine rolled over and we're about to put our new lifters in, but one step I wanted to mention. So we cleaned up our deck surface. We, um, this is just like residue, but before we give it our final cleaning, we're gonna run a thread chaser down each and every one of the head bolt holes to make sure they're completely clean so we can get a good torque reading when we torque our bolts back down. So this is a very important step that you don't wanna miss to run a thread chaser down your head bolt holes. So we got our lifters in, our new lifters in with brand new lifter trays. I use the GM lifter trays. I just think they work a little bit better. So now we're about to bolt our cylinder heads on we're using like a GM kit for that. So let me go grab that too. So this is our GM kit for our head gaskets. It's got the head gaskets in it. So you get two head gaskets, as well as it has the bolts and a few other miscellaneous gaskets. So we'll get this bolted on and keep it moving. So we got both our cylinder heads torqued down. So we're gonna finish getting our trunnions swapped out to the comp cams trunnions. Then we'll finish up the valve train, throw the valve covers on, and then last we will put our oil pan on. So we got our push rods and our valve springs all sauced up here. So next we're gonna go ahead and put our rocker arms in. We have our trunnion, our trunnion upgrade is done. We use a comp cams trunnion kit. So that'll go on. Then we'll get all the rocker arms torqued to spec. So we got our rocker arms on all torqued down. We put some of our comp valve train assembly lube. So next we're gonna bolt our valve covers down and then we'll be able to get our oil pan on and start fitting this thing in the car. Man, so we are having a great day today at White One Auto. So we got our LS1 mounted in the car. Um, this is pretty much done with our mock-up. We believe everything that we need will clear so the trans is in here. See if we can zoom down in there. The trans is in there, the transmission is mounted. So now all we, all we have to do is fully torque down all of our mounts and we're gonna start hanging everything else like our accessories, our exhaust, measure for our drive shaft and keep this thing moving. So um, thank you for joining us today here at White One Auto. You're gonna see a lot more to come of this Impala. White One Auto out.